Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. Let's go ahead and pray, and then we'll come to the Word of God here this afternoon. Father in heaven, we love you, and we're thankful for the day you've given us. And Father, our prayer in these moments is that you would guide and direct us by your Spirit through thy Word, and that you would strengthen our hearts and help us, Lord, to understand just how uh, special your Word is. And so, God, may we listen to you today. May we heed your instruction. Uh, Father, we pray that we would walk in revival and that you would use us for your glory and honor. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Let's go ahead and take our Bibles and open to Jeremiah chapter 36. Jeremiah chapter 36, it's a a chapter of of God's mercy, and it's also a chapter of man's rebellion. Now, think of all the sins and and hardship that Judah and Jerusalem were in in, in. experiencing because of their rebellion against the Lord. And God, in in verse number 2 of chapter 36, told Jeremiah, saying, Take thee a roll of a book, and write therein all the words that I have spoken unto thee against Israel and against Judah and against all the nations from the day I spake unto thee from the days of Josiah even unto this day. And so Jeremiah, who was in prison, uh, had a, a man by the name of Baruch. He he came and... and uh, and Jeremiah dictated to this man all the words that God had spoken unto him, and he wrote it down. But then, Micaiah, uh, and then he went and and he read it. Uh, he read the words in the house of the Lord in verse number ten. And there was a bold man named Micaiah. Verse number eleven tells us of this man when he heard uh, had heard out of the book all the words of the Lord. Uh, he went and he declared uh, unto them the words that he had heard. All the leadership, all the kings and princes. And uh, all the, the religious leaders uh, and the ears of the people. And so they went and they got Baruch and he read it in their ears. And, and what, had, what took place was, was awful. We find that uh, the word of God was brought uh, in before uh, the king, King Zedekiah. And the Bible says, and it came to pass, in verse number 23, when, when uh, Jehudai read uh, three or four leaves... He, speaking of the king, cut it with the penknife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth until the roll was consumed uh, in the fire that was on the hearth. He took the word of God and he burned it. I think in many cases today uh, we see people's refusal uh, to hear the word of God. What makes people mad? You know what I've you know what I've recognized uh, recently, or even seen more recently, I suppose, is the vehement hatred of God's word. We would rather continue in our sin, in our arrogance, and in our pride, and and suffer the consequences of our sin, uh, than to accept the word of God and and change our ways, repent, trust in Him, and live for His glory. You see. God, in his infinite grace, even after the king took that took that roll and burned it in the fire, God came to Jeremiah and he said, you know what, I want you to write it again a second time. But the travesty is this, it's found at the end in verse number 31, after Jeremiah had, had rewrite all the words that God, had, that God had spoken, the Bible says, but they hearkened not. Aren't you thankful for God's mercy? Even though people hearken not, God continues to warn. God continues uh, to to lift his voice and cry against the the sins and crimes of this world. The truth is, you and I, we're no different than King uh, Zedekiah. Oftentimes, in our pride and in the arrogance of our hearts, we refuse to listen to God's word. We may not actually burn it in a fire, but we cast it aside and continue living how, how we know God disapproves. Instead of casting it aside, instead of casting in the fire, instead of hearkening not to the word of God, may the Lord help us heed it. Let's read it. Let's heed it. Let's apply it. Let us repent. Let us come to the end of ourselves and allow God to use us. You know, God would have pardoned the people had they hearkened. God would have har- uh, would have um, shown mercy to the king Zedekiah, but Zedekiah refused. And God said, fine, you will not have one child to sit on the throne of David. I'm, your family is toast. 
sin has consequences. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Oftentimes you look at that in a negative light. But the verse doesn't stop there. The passage doesn't end there. It says, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. You know, if we sow to the flesh, we'll reap just uh, uh, corruption. If we sow to the Spirit, we'll reap life everlasting. Friends, understand this, that, that God is good, isn't he? It's of his mercies that we're not consumed. May, may God help us today turn our eyes upon Christ and trust wholly in him. Father, we pray today for your help. Uh, Lord, our prayer is that we would not cast thy word aside. Father, that we would not, um, that we would not disregard your word. That we would not stiffen our necks in rebellion. But God, that we would read thy word humbly and change our ways. Repent, change our ways, and live for thee. God, we, we pray for your mercy and your grace. Help us in this hour, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. It's always an honor to have you. I'm praying for you, and Lord willing, we'll see you back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.